I'm Chef Frank, this is Proto Cooks, and today we're making a family favorite, quick and easy eggs and sauce. This dish is near and dear to my heart. It's a family recipe, uh, and it's something that we ate a lot growing up. It was a quick and easy lunch, a quick and easy dinner, uh, and there's a lot of reasons why it's good. And not only does it taste great, it's cheap. It's, this is only like four or five ingredients uh, and a loaf of bread, salt and pepper, obviously. Um, it is easy. It doesn't take a long time. And if you want to add stuff to it, you can, right? With this, we only have a few ingredients, but if you want to add some like bacon or pancetta to it, you want to add some peppers to it, you can. It's like modifiable. You can modify it to what you want. So let's talk about the ingredients and then we'll get cooking. For my eggs and sauce, this is what you're going to need. Peeled crushed tomatoes, garlic, chili flakes, eggs, olive oil, of course, salt and pepper, and you're gonna need a loaf of bread to eat this with. Before we start cooking, I wanna talk about a couple of ingredients, and one of them is the tomatoes. I love this brand. This is the brand that my grandmother used. This is the brand that my mom used. Uh, so I tend to stick with this. It's peeled and crushed. I do not like skins at all in my sauces. When it comes to tomato sauce, if there's any skin in it, I won't eat it. So always peeled crushed or peeled whole, but for today's recipe, we're using peeled crushed, okay? The other thing I wanna talk about is my eggs. I got farm fresh eggs. My neighbor Sheridan, who just moved away, has a farm in Oxford, Connecticut. It's called Coudet Farms. And I got some farm fresh eggs from her. So if you have farm fresh eggs, if you're lucky enough to have a farmer friend or a local farm stand around you, support your local farms and get some good eggs. They just have better flavor. The chickens pretty much eat whatever's around them and they have so much better flavor than supermarket eggs. Normally I make a big batch, a big pan of these because there's four of us in the house, uh, but the kids aren't here. So I'm gonna make a small batch in a small pan. So I'm gonna put this aside. We'll make a small batch. And that's another thing I love about this recipe. It's scalable. The more people, the bigger the pan, a little more tomato sauce, and you can scale it up. All right, I'm gonna turn my heat on. Olive oil. Now, when I was a kid, we didn't use extra virgin for this. Uh, I just find that 100% that pure olive oil lately is lacking. So I just buy like a reasonably priced extra virgin and I think I get a better uh, flavor from that. Normally I wouldn't cook with extra virgin, but I just feel like I kind of need it here. So I get my oil in the pan and I'm gonna do this granny style, just like my grandma. I'm not gonna pre-chop my garlic. This is the way my nanny or my grandmother used to do it. She would just cut the garlic into the pan. And you can put as little or as much as you want in here. Uh, I always tell the story that my grandmother didn't like garlic, so she didn't really um, use a lot of it. The more you cut garlic, usually the stronger it is, so you don't want to cut it as much, right? So I'm just going to get this garlic kind of going. Uh, I want a little bit of brown on it, just slightly brown. I'm going to add my tomatoes. I might not need them all. I'm going to go about halfway up the pan, so I might not need all those tomatoes. It's going to make a mess. Be careful. Give it a stir. Make sure you get it everywhere, which I just did. And I'm going to lower my heat now, and I'm not going to let this cook long. This sauce only cooks for a few minutes. So it's not necessarily raw, but it has some nice acidity to it. So I'm just going to let this cook for a few minutes. Tomatoes are in. I'm going to hit it with some chili flakes. You can make this as spicy or as, as mild as you want. A fair amount of salt. You need to season these up. The tomatoes are super acidic right now. And some black pepper. And I'm just gonna let this lightly simmer. Three to four minutes, that's it. Not that long, right? On a very low heat. It's gonna splash a little, so just be careful. And just give it a stir once in a while. You don't have to go too crazy. So you can see the sauce is lightly bubbling away. Just lightly bubbling away, lower it down. Get your eggs. Now, I usually do two eggs per person. Crack your eggs right into the sauce. Right in. So this pan, we'll put three in this one, okay? Three eggs. I can turn it up just a little. Make sure you season your eggs really well. Salt and pepper right on top. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Start to see some bubbles. I'll lower it down to kind of a medium heat so it doesn't splatter everywhere. And the lid goes on. Leave that lid on over medium heat. Not for long, it'll probably take about five minutes. 
The eggs are about halfway done. Let's do a quick sneak peek. You can see they're starting to set up. And the key here is to make sure that your yolks are still soft. Cover it back up. We'll come back in another couple of minutes. All right, they're done. Look at that. Oh my gosh. The eggs are still a little bit wiggly. The whites are set and that's what I want. I'm gonna get rid of the burner and let's give this a taste. The time has come to taste this. Now I wanna show you something, right? If you look right here, the eggs are just set. Normally uh, we serve this in the pan. I don't know, we just do it as a family. We have family dinner and we eat it out of the pan together. But if you want, you can actually scoop the eggs out and put them into a bowl. So I wanna show you this. I'm gonna break into this. Come on, come closer. Look at that yolk. Oh my gosh, that, that is the way it should be, right? The yolk should break, right? Get yourself a nice piece of bread. Dip it into the yolk. Get a little bit of that white. Get some of that sauce. Oh my gosh, you ready? Mm. Every time it brings me back to my grandmother's house. I'm like a seven year old kid. It's so good, it's so easy, and it's so quick. Uh, you'll be blown away. Great dinner on the quick, especially now that everyone's so busy. You gotta make this. Give it a try. Send me your pictures. I wanna see you cooking this. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. I wanna thank Coudé Farms for the eggs. I'm gonna link their information down below. If you're ever in Oxford, Connecticut, go visit them. They have a little farm stand. Um, I wanna thank our Patreon patrons for supporting us. We have merch in the description down below. We have a PO box down there as well. And that's it. That's my eggs and sauce, my family favorite. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. I'm Chef Frank, this is Proto Cooks. Have a good one.